Hello guys, welcome, welcome to the channel. Try to get it off the screen real quick. Alright, then hit the wrong button already. So today guys, we'll be taking a look at another mod. Uh, this is Smarty's uh, 1950 Peterbilt. Just come out on the workshop. Uh, this truck is running a Cummins NHS a 1945 Cummins with 275 horsepower and a 13 speed uh, 8 full transmission. Uh, as you know, this is a 1950, so it will not have. And I'm trying to get the other off the monitor there. Come on. Try and get that off the screen. Alright, there. Uh, as you know, here's the interior of the truck. You know, it being a 1950, it's not going to have a GPS. It's going to be a very well done truck. Looking really good. Love the look of the truck. Let's go, Root. Got uh, 133 miles to go. Let's check out this old truck. Love the old air brake up there. Look at that. Watch that brake. That's cool. Want to get in and do a video with the truck? This 1950 Peterbilt. Maybe better go around. All right. We'll see if we can make it. Turn left. Truck has two, like I said, 275 horsepower. Real good horn. So we got 133 miles on this trip. We'll have to get us a thumbnail. Takes us get up speed in this uh, truck. I see what the, that right there is telling you that your air pressure is low. 
now that you put your air pressure up, it goes up. Okay. Well, that's kind of different. and get a thumbnail real quick. Go ahead and get that out of the way. Of this beautiful truck. Trying to not get that Camaro in there. Hill. Guess what car probably should have used a different engine. I wanted to check out this uh, Cummins from 1945.
struggle a little bit on this hill. Like I said, it is 275 horsepower. That is pretty neat, the little thing up there for the air. I've never seen one like that. That's, that must be how they done it back then in the 50s. We may have put the wrong transmission in this truck. It should be able to get up faster than that. Jake action there.
me the outside view of the truck here. Finally, we are here. So we're gonna probably have a hard time getting we do and um, we'll try to back it in there. I had to curve it a little bit more, I think. Kind of cut it. We gotta look, make sure the we ain't gonna hit that trailer. Pull up right here. That's so cool how that little thing comes down like that.
I need to see if we're not going to hit that trailer. I'm going to make sure we're not going to hit that trailer. So we drove exit, we drove 134 miles, it took us 5 hours and 2 minutes to get here. We consumed 18.4 gallons of fuel. Alright, so I'm going to show you the options for this truck. Now this is Smarty's little Peterbilt. Uh, it's a 1950 Peterbilt. Now you can get this truck on the Sting Workshop, or you can get it off a lot of the mod sites that's out there. So the truck comes, as you can see, uh, start off with a day cab option. Make a closer look here. Comes uh, as a day cab option. So you have multiple different cab options. You have a day cab, which is a 19, it's a 1949 day cab. All right, then you have a 1952 day cab. You have a 1949 with a 30 inch, a 36 inch uh, box on the back. You have a uh, 1949, the same thing with aluminum. You have a 1952, same thing. And a 1952 aluminum, if you want to put the aluminum box on the back like that. I'm a passenger, that's your sleeper. You open the door, I didn't probably climb in the sleeper like that on the side. So that's all your options for that. As far as chassis goes, you have a... Um, you have a 192 chassis, which is one that's on the truck now. Ever does longer? That's a, um, a 216. It's gonna be a little bit shorter, as you can see. That's a 190. That's a 192 TA. And then that's a 216. So that's your chassis options. Engines options. You have a Cummins, a Cummins H600. 245 that's a 1945 has 150 horsepower all the way down to a 1980 Cummins in NTC 475 BC for 475 horses transmissions you have 10 speeds 10 speeds 10 all this is a 10 speed 13 speeds the material has two has the brown interior and Cream for interior color. Good looking truck. Really good looking truck. Paint jobs. It does come with some custom paint jobs. You have all your normal colors. You have some uh, custom paint. Paint jobs that come with the truck also. You have your metallics. All that works. <clears throat> Alright, you have two old you have two logos. You have a nineteen fifty two oval logo, which is on the truck, or you can change it to a nineteen fifty two exclusive logo, which is this one right here. Here is uh, different hoods, you can go with a chrome hood. Go with a standard hood. It's the um, latches on the hood or raise the hood. You can go with a painting. For that. 
headlights, you have different options. You have um, chrome, you have a chrome 2, you have painted 2, painted, and your normal headlights. Grill, you have tons of options. You have a uh, chrome, like this one right here. Chrome and painted. 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 That's all your options for that. You can have your grill classic like that. You can put uh, that on there if you want it like that. You can put like that. I think that's a, a grill cover. Oversized low banner. You change your hood. It's got plenty of bumper options. You want to change your bumper. So there's plenty of those types of options for the truck. Mirrors, you have three options. No, you have four options. You have the ones on the truck now. You can go with a painted option. You can go with the classic Western Coast, West Coast Chrome, but that is right there. Or you can go with the, this one right here. I don't know if many trucks had that on them back then, though. Your exhaust, you have many, many options for that. Uh, this is your cabin light. You can change all that if you want to and put it like that. This would be beacons if you want a big beacon on the top of the truck. Like that. Right here is going to be your fuel tanks. There we go. Interior option is not really a lot on the inside of the truck. You change your steering wheel, which we kind of figure that would be in the model of the truck. You can put a president in there. So, yeah. Alright guys, that could be of today's video. I want to get ahead and show off Smarty's Pinto 350. Awesome looking truck. Very well done truck. I really do like it. And uh, it looks so good. Well, 1950 model. It is definitely one that we will run again. I, I can guarantee you on that. Good looking model. So I want to thank everyone that did come out. And uh, if you watched the video, I do appreciate anyone that watches the video. It helps the channel grow. If you if you like the content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification. We'll let you know when we go live. And we'll see you in the next video.